Hey guys, where are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com. One of my goals for 2014 is to make more web design related videos. And starting with that goal, I want to create a video all about creating, I know a lot of creates, but hey, I am the creative one, a photo gallery for your website using Squarespace. Now, you don't need Squarespace to make this happen, but in my opinion, Squarespace makes it easiest, at least compared to other options such as WordPress. But that's another video. Anyway, so for today's video, let's talk about Squarespace, creating a photo gallery, and just showing you how incredibly easy and feature rich it actually is. So, step number one, create a Squarespace account using that link right below. It's a 14 day trial, no credit card required. So yes, you have two full weeks to create your website, mess around and save Squarespace is the right platform for you. Okay, so once your account is created, go into your content manager. You can usually get there by pressing escape on your keyboard. It's actually a nice little shortcut to keep in mind. Believe me, it helps a lot. And it'll take you right into kind of the behind the scenes view of your website. The first thing you gotta do is click add page on the left hand side of the screen. Then simply click page, since that's exactly what we're adding, and name it anything you want. For this video's purpose, let's simply call it photo gallery. And you can see that Squarespace automatically creates a URL right below the photo gallery title. So it would be at davidfranco.com slash photo hyphen gallery. But again, this can be anything you want, video gallery, photo gallery, my portfolio, anything. So simply click save and the page is created. So now that the page exists, the only thing you have to do is actually create the content itself. So the next step is to click the plus sign where it says right here, and you can add a huge variety of different content uh, types such as text, Markdown language, quote, image, gallery, video, audio, embed. You can even add products, Amazon links, a donation link, a forum, newsletter, and the list goes on and on. And yes, I will be covering some of those in future videos. But for this video's purpose, let's just add a photo gallery. So yes, you're probably correct. Click gallery to create a gallery. Now from this screen, we can upload media directly within that box. And again, for this video's purpose, you're going to hear me say that a lot. I have a list of photos right here that I'm going to add in. Actually, these are all thumbnails for my videos over at youtube.com slash the creative one. So let's select all these photos and simply drag them into that screen. And Squarespace auto imports and makes thumbnails for you, making it incredibly easy. So let's just wait until they're done. It takes a second to render them all. almost there and we are done so now that the photos are there the next thing you'll probably want to do at least in my opinion you should is click on design and this is where you can customize your photo gallery so by default it is a slideshow but you can change it to a slider grid or stacked but for this video's purpose there I go again I'm gonna go with a grid because I just like that simple format now I'll do square thumbnails that way automatically Squarespace zooms in and crops your thumbnails to make them squares and you'll see a change in the background. And there you go, so now they're kind of more tightly wound together. And we can do, let's say, three thumbnails per row and we can decrease the padding to bring the images closer to one another. So let's do five padding and let's do light box. So this is basically a somewhat fancy way of saying uh, when you click an image, it's gonna pop up in somewhat this overlaid window and give you this better looking view. So let's do light box, save. Okay, the gallery is technically created but not completely saved. So save again. And now to preview our page, we can click view page. And for some reason it went there, I'm not really sure. But let's go to the exact URL, photo gallery, and there it is. So now clicking on the image, you'll see that we have this night, nice light box view, mixing up my words there, of all of my images. Very, very nice and extremely simple, easy on the eyes. I'm telling you guys, tons of functionality, but Squarespace just makes it so simple for the end user and that's why I love Squarespace. So if you're interested in creating your own photo gallery 
for your photography portfolio, your website portfolio, anything you want, or basically just images of yourself, as you can clearly see I've done here, but again, these are just for my videos uh, purposes, then you can. The options are endless, it just depends on what kind of project you're working on. And of course, that's not it guys, you can customize the options of your settings, otherwise known as your gallery. So let's just click on the gallery twice to bring up the options, design, and you can change it to a slider if you wanted to. You could autoplay, you could do five seconds between images, actually let's do three seconds. So let's save, save, now let's go back into that photo gallery, and now you'll see that it'll, it'll autoplay every three seconds. There you go. I'm not even touching the keyboard. Very nice. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy Squarespace, let me know. And don't forget, if you do sign up for Squarespace right below, you get a 14-day free trial to get started, and that's plenty of time to create a website and say if Squarespace is the platform for you. And of course, this is just the beginning. I will be creating more Squarespace related videos as long as you guys are interested in them. So let me know in the comments right below. Your support is awesome and I will see you in my next video. Yeah, I'm a horse.